Hello, my friends of Katari Labs. My name is Sol Montoya. Please have a great day. In the tutorial of today, what we are going to do is we are going to use LandLab and we are going to calculate the maximum, the steepest slope, and, we, um, and then we are going to plot the steepest slope against the drainage area to see how is the variability of the steepest slope with the drainage area. Okay, and we are going to do that over a geospatial raster. Okay, so let's continue with that. Uh, you are going to receive on the description of the video the dzipet file. So I'm going actually to zip it. Okay. And then you have to place it under your documents. So when you open Anaconda, Okay, CD documents, CD variability of steep slope, then we launch Jupyter Lab. Okay, enter. Mm -hmm. On scripts, you are going to find this IPython notebook where first we import the generic package, we import Rasterio, and then we import LandLab. And then we open the geospatial T file, and then we show that. Then we extract the array because this is just one, this is the array because there is only one band. Then we show as well the, the matrix array and then we extract the number of columns, the number of calls and as well the pixel size and then from that we create a land lab raster with the raster model grid okay and then and then from the from the object from the raster model grid we create uh, we add zeros to the topographic elevation so it will be an empty elevation and with that okay from the zeros we add our elevation okay where we have to do some so, some ordering to the to the elevation in order to be inserted in land lab and then we have voila we have the raster elevations here and uh, we have already the elevations on the raster file okay uh, no we have the elevations on the land lab object okay this is a land lab object so we have already our elevations there then we run the we calculate the flow and, accum and calculate the accumulate flow and calculate area however uh, there is a problem because the land la the 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 problem of here is that the that the raster is not hydrologically corrected, so we have to fill the pressures. Okay, so it's so we fill and map the depressions. This takes um, quite a bit. So if you are going to work with a huge raster, so actually that might take longer. So this is a more raster. So that that will depend on the size of your raster. Okay, and then we plot the drainage area. Okay, and now it's corrected because you see this is a main output of the drainage. Okay, so and then we create a thing. Okay, the options. Okay, right now the steep slope and the drainage area are just how how to say are just a uh, points. Okay, so but in order to do a box plot, we create a panda data frame. And then we the area is in square meters, so we change that to hectares in order to have a a better and to make the slope area more read, readable. No, to make the area more readable. And then from that we create something that is well I have uh, that is new for me with on pandas that we create an, an interval range because we want to compare. I mean the area values are huge 
So that's why we create, in order to create the box plot, we don't create that with a specific area value, but rather we create that with a, a area in, with a, a area interval. So, so here we create the area interval, and then we plot. Okay, this is the plot, a beautiful plot, where we see that the small basins, okay, the small basins have a huge variability on the slope, okay, and as long as that the basins are bigger, okay, the variability decreases much, okay. Then we see that we don't have basins with uh, with these intervals of flow. We don't have basins with these intervals of flow accumulation, and that might be because two streams join, okay, and then from one side, for example, this stream joins with this one, so and then it jumps to this one, okay. That's why you see some. Uh, that's why you see some empty intervals here. And as you might see, as long as the as long as the area, the accumulation, the drainage area is bigger, the variability actually is the same. Okay. However, it's funny what is with us appear here. Okay, so the purpose of this tutorial is to show you some a new way to analyze surface. Okay, a new way to analyze surface for the specific studies that you might have, and to show you that this can be done from geospatial. Okay, that can be done from geospatial rasters, and that can be applied to to a slope. But it can, I mean, with Python, the and with Python and LandLab because LandLab is also a great tool and another uh, another libraries you can have a better insight of what is the exact what is the exact locate or what is the exact uh, uh, what is the exact um, situation of your surface okay so and uh, how this and this is information that will be um, great for you if you want to, for example, evaluate slope stability or to characterize some some basins or to see how it, how it will how the maximum slope will change if you have according to the the drainage area or whatever other uh, calculation that you might have. Okay, we are from Hatari Labs. Hatari Labs is a platform to knowledge sharing in groundwater modeling and, uh, and spatial analysis. We have courses, we have webinars, and if you might want, you can see the online courses that we have here. And these are courses that you can take anytime in our e-learning platform. And with that, you are supporting our research. So far, uh, Thank you for following this tutorial and hope to see you in coming tutorials. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.